All right, it's gonna be an overnight at the Stargazer Micro Camper, the first overnight. You guys remember this place? I moved it to a new campsite, got a new fire pit, ready to break it in. Let's build our taco. Okay, yes. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful, beautiful September night. It is so warm and nice to be out here. It's so quiet and wonderful. And I'm just so blessed to be here. Thank you for all of the ways that you show me grace and you show me your love. I pray for those watching that you would heal them, strengthen them, show them that uh, you're all that they need. I, I thank you so much for this food. Thank you for this day in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, you guys want a bite? Let's do this. Okay, you ready for your bite? Here it comes, ready? Open up, open up. Oh man, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Mm. I think I could eat tacos or Mexican food every day of the week. I love it so much. The homemade tortilla. Like, I had no idea how easy it was to do that. I got that tortilla press at uh, a flea market. And I thought, oh, I've always wanted to try to do that. Then I bought some corn flour. But there is just a difference in the taste. It's so fresh and good. Mm. Unbelievable. Oh, that is delicious. So I'm flying solo tonight. I didn't bring Moose with me. 
he doesn't really love campfires and I know I was getting a late start anyway I'm like I'm just gonna be around the campfire and there's not a ton of room in my little <laughs> micro camper so I just thought tonight is just gonna be the the back to the original solo like alone style you know like I haven't been completely alone in the woods in quite a while without a dog and so I thought tonight would be the night I would do it and I do miss my little buddy <laughs> by the way everybody asks about Maisie so I want to give you an update on her she's absolutely fine she just she's just too old for the traveling and the the moving about and just you know she's better off just staying home being at her space being in her cozy bed um, She's to the point now where she doesn't really like even go for like evening walks with us. She'll watch me and Moose walk off the porch and go into the woods and she just kind of stands there and watches. And uh, you know, it's cooling down though. So she likes to, She it's been putting a little pep in her step and she came with us the other day. I just have to be really slow and I don't really go very far off the property because she just, it's just hard on her and I don't want to see her, you know, hurt herself you know as you get older just you know your joints and all the, I mean I feel it <laughs> I'm feeling the joints right and but she's doing good so don't you worry I'm gonna put her in a video soon something that she can handle some small little you know close to home camping trip so but yeah this is this is unique I haven't done something alone for quite a while just by myself it's it definitely puts me back into those days where I was on alone and you're just in the woods alone and there's nothing really to distract you the dogs you know they just distract you in a good way like they take your focus off of anything that may get in your mind or may bother you you know there's just a dog and it's nice to have the company when you're completely alone, it's just a whole different deal. Whole different deal. I just love my little micro Christmas tree here. <laughs> I am such a fan of lights when you're camping alone. They just really make a difference to me. I know some people would say, well, that just makes you stick out like everyone else or anything in the woods like everyone else. Like there's people around. But I... I've heard people say they feel like they're on display when they like put lights up, but I don't know. I just find it comforting. I find it just brightens the mood of the whole place. Um, I, I like lights. I So I always have twinkly lights. I've always got candles, always got the fire going and it's just comforting. You know, it's just really comforting to have lights if you're going to camp alone. I can't believe how warm it is tonight. It's just so warm. I am still in my short sleeve shirt and it is nine o'clock. It's 10 after nine and it is still just warm. I know these days are running out, so soaking it up. Look at all the frogs out there. It's just beautifully silent. Love that. So yeah, breaking in the micro camper tonight. <laughs> I found this spot. I really liked it and um, just decided to move to a different spot. A little deeper in the woods. I am at our property with the cabin that we're working on. Which update, we will be working on that. I'm really excited to dig back into that cabin. That is the cabin that we found that was just destroyed. Not the survival bunker in Alaska. This is in Michigan. This is our property. It's the property with the cabin that was just abandoned, you know, just kind of left behind all the furniture and the stuff was in there. So this is that property. I'm in the woods at that property. And I'm, we're both really looking forward to getting back on that project. And we we have lots of, both of us have lots of projects yet um, that we want to do this, this fall. So it's going to be busy. It never slows down. Um, you know, I'm a little ADD anyway. I, I have a hard time sitting still and 
So these nights are nice. And I can get away and just, you know, I'm not even looking after a dog tonight. So it's just me and the campfire and the, and the stargazer. <laughs> and I don't know if we're going to get any stars because I think it's supposed to rain. So, which actually might be pretty cool in there to hear it rain. So we'll see how that goes. Man, I, I need to shut up. I'm a chatty Kathy tonight. <laughs> That's perfect. ready for some sleep. Ready, 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 ready. Do a little reading. This is pretty crazy at night. It's so lovely. This is my view. It's pretty great. <laughs> Just awesome. It's like my corgi socks. <laughs> I like fun socks. Oh, this is so relaxing. You know, this isn't much of a structure, but it is nice to be in something. I always feel that way in a tent too, but this is like walls, even though it's clear on top. It's walls. It feels like your little cozy little oasis. It's very nice. Twinkly lights are amazing. I just got them running off of a little uh, power battery here. See this? That's what's powering my lights. These are just LED and they're, they don't take much at all. This is just great. You know, I've got these window shades I could put down. You know, these. These come down like that. I don't know. I just don't feel any need to. There's nobody out here. I'm just in the woods. But that'd give me privacy. But I don't need it. I, I am in the woods. It's very nice. Mm. The payoff of all the hard work. Sweet. Twinkly lights make it. I think I'm going to bed, guys. So I will see you in the morning. <sighs> Good 
good morning. A little chilly, but not bad. Slept good. Slept good. I'll leave the lights on. It's a little cloudy and dark. There we go. Just love. I just love having the twinkly lights on. <laughs> Oh, it's time for some coffee. Well, this was pretty darn comfortable. That did all right. It was cozy. This looked good. It was nice and quiet. I think I forgot my brush. Good start to the day. Smells good. Ah, cheers. Oh my goodness, do you see this? Tacos in the morning. That, oh, that's a wonderful breakfast. We should say a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much for a beautiful night. Thank you for reminding me how wonderful the simple things are. I pray that we would just not forget to enjoy every little moment in life. Pray for those watching, give them hope and strength and peace. Love, Lord. Thank you for this food in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Ready? Open up. Take a bite. You got it. Here we go. <laughs> Breakfast tacos. <laughs> Heck yeah. Well guys, hope you liked the video. See you in the next one. This is Girl in the Woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy.